All right. This is Jolie here for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined by this weekend's main event, Mick Conlon, Michael Conlon, the headline. Return of the Mick. I'm loving that uh, little slogan. It's obviously promoted by Conlon Boxing. Who came up with that idea? With Return of the Mick, uh, my younger brother, who's our kind of digital guy, does all our our stuff. So, you know, Conlon Boxing is really a family business, complete family. And uh, yeah, he came up with the idea, um, the, the name and stuff. So it's good. It's catchy. Yeah, it definitely makes a lot of sense. This is my first time working in uh, Ireland, Northern Ireland for boxing. Um, and the press conference is already a good turnout. This is just normal for you though. This is what you expect when you come here. It's, it's what it's been like since I started um, as a professional. So I do expect it, but you know, I'm, I'm always grateful for my fan base. I have a fantastic fan base who always come out to support. So, you know, it's been, it's great. There's loads here today, you know, happy days. Talk us through the hat before we get onto the fight. We uh we heard you mention you going in the jungle <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> nah, I'm only joking. I wouldn't actually go into the the celebrity jungle shit. That that's not for me. Like I don't like anything like snakes or, or spiders or shit. So no, not for me. But yeah, no, nah, it's it's a hat. I like it's my summer hat. So I usually wear a cap or a beanie cap, a beanie hat. So you know, I decided let's change it up and we'll go for you know cowboy. <laughs> well, obviously. Get on to the main event now. Um, this is a big comeback fight. You could have taken other people, got your confidence back up, and then got into a fight like this. This guy is tried and tested. He's been in big fights, obviously, against Lomachenko before. But for you, why was it important to get striping back into the mix? Yeah, listen, if you look at it, the only people that beat this dude are, are top, top fighters. Um, I know how, how tough Miguel is, how, how hard Miguel punches, and uh, how much of a test it will, it will be, it can be. Um, but for me, I wanted to get back to the top as soon as I possibly can, and I believe he is the correct opponent for me to do that. Um, albeit a tough test, yes, I, I agree. But the right test, I think. I, I don't. I don't. Going off my last performance and stuff, I don't see the reason why I would. I would step back. Yeah, like you said, it was only the last ninety seconds, and it wasn't as bad as people made it out to be straight after the fight. Yeah, listen, it wasn't. A, it wasn't a fight where I shipped loads of damage. Um, my opponent more so did in that fight. Um, you know, I, I was caught with one shot while while I was fatigued. So I don't even question my own chin. Um, I know I have a good chin because I actually took a few shots throughout the fight where they didn't bother me at all. Um, so yeah, uh, you know, I'm, I'm game it. I'm ready to go. I, I want to get back at the top as soon as I possibly can. I'm the Gale's the right guy. Yeah, I saw you mention how it's only driven you to want to get to a world title it's going to get there you're going to get there eventually uh, but obviously with a big fight like this it's going to come sooner yeah well like I could have as you said I could have took an easier opponent and I could have went that route where you know build up and build my confidence ship many people would have many people many people would have and many people were questioning the, the reasons why I've done this but you know I I'm, I'm hungrier than ever and I haven't took it as a loss I've took it as a learning curve um and it's been nothing but beneficial for me. So, you know, I feel I feel great and very, very happy with, with how I've kind of returned to the gym and how I've performed in the gym. Um, like, this is the easiest I've ever made weight as well. Like, And I actually thought it was going to be hard. I know it's 128, so it's two pound over championship weight um, because there's no belt on the line. But I actually probably could have made championship weight easier than what I made it for, for the last fight. So, you know, I'm, I'm in a great place mentally, physically. I'm just ready to go. With that being said, how soon after a win do you feel like you could actually reach that title? Obviously, Leeward, Santa Cruz, there's purse bid issues, etc. But that seems like it's going to happen. But how soon would you feel like you could get back to fighting for a world title with a win? Very soon, very soon. Um, you know, depending on his situation with Santa Cruz, depends on how it goes with him. Um, but I know that like he probably feels that he doesn't need to have the rematch because he got the win, and and you know so be it but everybody else will say the rematch is just and i've heard him say like you know flip it on his head and if i had to end up winning if i had to, if i won the points and i won why would i rematch but that's a completely different story because i was dominating most of the fight you know what i mean it's not like i pulled the fucking lucky shot out of the bag um so yeah um i would love to get back in my as soon as possible um i hope his situation with santa cruz is is figured out very soon and they can get the work on and I hope he wins so I can, you know, rematch him for, you know, a belt. Um but if not, um no I'm I'm willing to fit any of the other guys, any of them any of them as soon as possible. Um that's one thing a loss has done. 
it's made me willing and ready to fight anybody at any time as soon as possible. That's really good to hear. Now, last of all, as I say, my first time in Belfast, what can I expect? But most importantly, the people watching ESPN, etc. What can they expect? The atmosphere, but also the fight on Saturday night. You'll, you'll get an atmosphere you've never experienced. If it's your first time in Belfast at a boxing fight, you'll get an atmosphere you've never experienced before. So it's going to be special. Um, but in terms of performance, with me, I'm going to go out there and, and box this guy's ears off. Now, we all know I can get dragged in the wars at times, but my plan is not to do it. Um, with the rest of the card, obviously, it's me and my brother running this card. And, you know, I think it's a fantastic card, stacked. Um, some unbelievable fights. Um, you know, Throw McKenna versus Chris Jenkins. It's just going to be a bloodbath. Um, and then Paddy McCrory against Paraban. In my opinion, there has to be an knockout there. And then our exciting young prospects coming through. You know, we've got two great prospects, you know, making their first fights at home as professionals, Kurt Walker and, and Kieran Malloy. And you know, I'm really excited for them because they've, they've sold an awful lot of tickets and they're bringing an awful lot of fans and it gets the first time to show them with, with no, no, no vests on, no head guards on it in their home country. It's going to be special. I look forward to it, uh, mate. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Nice.